All right, so this is the next step that I'm dealing with on the uh, Factory 5 Roadster build. So I need to shorten the drive shaft. Uh, this is the original drive shaft here from the 96 Mustang GT. Obviously the wheelbase of the Roadster is much shorter than the Mustang. So I'm using, uh, as you can see here, 4.6 liter uh, N Coyote TKO T45. That's the transmission I have. And the length needs to be, if you follow that over, 13 and a half inches. So from this part, front part of the yoke there, which is here, to this part of the back of the yoke on the rear that connects to the rear end needs to be 13 and a half inches. So uh, I need to have it shortened. So obviously they're gonna take a section out of the middle and then I want them to replace the U-joints and balance it. Uh, and maybe I'll throw some paint on it if they don't throw any paint on it themselves. Uh, and that should be it. And it uh, should be that simple. So I found a drive shaft company that specializes in drive shafts and axles. Um, and so I'm gonna take it to them and we'll see how that turns out. All right, so I have gotten the drive shaft shortened uh, from, I can't remember what the original length was, but it's down to 13 and a half inches. Um, this is the drive, the shortened drive shaft. Actually, let me get out of the shadow there. So yeah, that's the shortened drive shaft. Uh, I had them, so to upgrade the U-joints, was some money because they were just gonna so what that let's start let's go back a little bit so essentially what they did was take the original drive shaft down and then he said so if you look at the original drive shaft it like is this diameter which i think is three inches and then it tapers down so he was saying because it's so short that he would probably have to re sleeve it with new tubing in order to get it to be uh, three inches all the way across. And so if you look at the drive shaft that you can buy, it essentially looks like this. Um, it is a, like a re-sleeved, and I, I guess they're, you know, if you were gonna make this from scratch, you could probably start with some three inch diameter. And as long as you have these to weld on to each. So it essentially, I guess the way you want to look at it is I supplied him with this end, this end, this, and the yoke, and then he rebuilt. So he put new um, U-joints in, Spicer U-joints, uh, and then rebalanced it after it was done. So he's starting with kind of a head start. It comes out to about the same price, which is, you know, but the thing is, if you order the drive shaft, so say you want to buy, you say, you know what? No, screw it. I'm going to buy a new one. It's about $380 and it's an eight week wait time. Uh, so you don't have to wait. It took him, I think he had it in a couple of days um, because I'm essentially giving him the supply and then he had the three inch tubing and the U-joints. So, you know, and the measurement is from the end of the flange here to this part of the yoke there. So that should be about 13 and a half inches, which is what the measurement is in the diagram that's in the manual. So uh, probably not on this video, but you're gonna see on the next video, hopefully, when I install the engine and drivetrain, if that works or not. Because that's the other question. Now, I mean, when I look at it, the one that's available online, it looks about the same. The other thing, we'll update on um, the other part, is I have uh, figured out the EGR extension tube. And so, let's see, we got good light, yeah. So EGR extension tube, what I've done is, uh, the EGR tube originally starts here at the EGR valve, goes down, connects to these tubes, comes down here, and then it comes down to about the end of the cylinder head and then it curved over with a piece that looked like this. I cut this off, I've made it straight, and I am having, um, probably could have done this myself, but I'm gonna have, the, for the first one, I'm gonna have the, uh, the guy at the fabrication shop for the tubing and the fittings, 
he's going to weld, TIG weld on um, a straight, I think it's an uh, AN, it's an AN fitting, I think he said a 10. So it's gonna get an AN 10 on one end, and then that end will be like this, you know, with a, with a B nut, and then it will, uh, essentially what I'll have is a 90 degree fitting that will make it come down, run along here. This is gonna be stainless steel, uh, like bellowed tubing. It'll come down here and then it'll have a straight end that will have a B nut. And I've tacked this in place, but this is, you know, if you can see here, this will be final welded uh, when the tube comes back. I don't wanna final weld it yet. Um, and then that will weld there. So that's my solution for the EGR um, because I'm gonna run EGR. I'm trying to duplicate the Mustang, but in the chassis of the Roadster. So that's the challenge there. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, I'm still waiting for that tube to come back um, because he had to order the stainless steel tubing. So the stainless steel tubing, I guess it's like corrugated or bellowed or whatever, looks like what you would get uh, a gas line for an appliance at like Home Depot. Uh, but this is, you know, those come in like 24, 36, 48, you know, very like 12 inch increments. And so I tried at first to make one of those work. Um, unfortunately, um, the, the, it was either too short or too long. And then I would have all this extra. So I will be able to kind of bend it a little bit once I get it and to kind of get the bend because it's going to need a little bit of a bend uh, in it. Um, and so I made it about 18, I want to say 18 or 18 and a half inches long. Uh, and so we'll see how that, uh, how that matches up. So that should be part of this video. Next part of the video. Um, you're going to see, uh, that, uh, the, the putting, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see how long, much longer it's going to take, but that's, that would be my idea. Uh, what else? Oh, and, and then at that point, Everything is ready for the engine uh, and transmission install. So that should be one of the next videos after that. I've got the transmission over here ready to go in. Um, I've got the plate cleaned up. I've got new clutch fork, new release bearing, pressure plate bolts, flywheel bolts, flywheel, clutch, um, clutch, you know, um, alignment tool, alignment tool here. So, should be ready. Should be ready to install and, and then bolt that drive shaft up. And uh, yeah, um, no. that should be the next step. And then after that, obviously, hooking all the electrical up, which will probably be another video after that. So, yeah, stay tuned.